I, I'm not sure if I understood that. I'm sorry, we have two reps from the class, so I, I'm going to speak late. Uh, I think one other one's going to speak a bit later. They're under the same name. So we didn't well, and, and who are you? Uh, my name is Munir Wad. I live in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Um, do you need address? No, but I'm, I'm okay. unclear why she isn't speaking when I called her up. Because so, we're all under, I just put us under her, the class of her, uh, her class's name. She's Mrs. Libna Hawadi um, with her class on a field trip. Okay, is she going to speak? Uh, another student is going to speak uh, later. We Has have, she signed up? Yes, yes. So, so you're speaking in, instead of her? No, I'm speaking as a representative for Mrs. Libna Hawadi's class. So you're speaking for her at this point? For the class, yes, sir. Okay, go ahead. Thank you very much. Uh, first and foremost, the Muslim woman's reaction to a hairy-legged man in the shower is no different than any other woman's reaction to a hairy-legged man in the shower. Um, I just uh, I felt compelled to speak uh, after hearing a few things, and just to keep it very short, I don't think you have to be a minority to have a monopoly over this topic. Uh, I'm not necessarily the descendant of slaves here, but I come from a religious community that has been targeted by the state recently and does understand the need to protect certain communities from a majority. Uh, the idea that protecting a minority against majority rule as being a, some type of outside agenda is not a problem that I see fit to bring up. That's exactly what we need in our democracy. We do need protections for minorities. Um, and I just want to say that we brought this class here today to sort of help them understand what our government is about, what local government is about. We're hoping to help them see an example of how our community will stand up for justice and stand up to defend a minority. Uh, again, coming from a community that was targeted in the 2010 elections, targeted by all our state legis or majority of state legislatures, uh, and had an amendment passed that actually demonized our community. So we understand that this is not about particularly discussing whether the LGBT community is right or wrong with what they do. Uh, we are a conservative community. We definitely have strong religious beliefs that would align with many people in this room, but we also understand the importance of law. We hope this, com this city council will stand up for justice to protect the minority. We are a minority group that has needed this protection. We've reaped the benefits of this protection. And as someone that files many EEOC complaints, I also want to say people can't just get fired and say I got fired because of my race, religion, or sexual orientation. There is an investigation that goes on. The EEOC will not even take a complaint. They won't even uh, file a right to sue letter if they don't feel that there was evidence of any type of discrimination. Um, thank you all. I hope these girls get a great experience from seeing what you all do today, and I, I just want you to know our community is watching and supporting the, the rights of those that are a minority and supporting this cause for the sake of humanity. Thank you.